What's up, guys? Oh, the old girl is dirty. She is filthy. She's on the ground. I still want to change the oil. Wrap this pipe. Make this right here into a... Uh, something like that. Straight shot. With two 90s. Down there. I cut it off here. My oil pan... As you can see, sets down farther than that, so I don't think I'm gonna hit anything with it. <clears throat> I think it'll be kind of flush to the my bumper. We'll have to see where it's at there, but I could buy like one of them racer style fucking exhaust things and blow it out where I needed to, <laughs> if I wanted to, or I might use that, or I'll eventually get it welded. I just I'm not really worried about it right now. So, uh, yeah. Um, got all the, right here was my fuel, and right there is my nitrous. 6 a.m., 6 a.m. fuel. It's like 160 bucks or something like that. To make it yourself. To buy the line and make it. It's not cheap. Um, AEM soaked into the wide band, wide bands in. <clears throat> just gotta take tape. Sorry, guys, just gotta take tape and uh, I'm gonna tape those up. Actually, I'll probably use little pieces of heat, heat shrink and then heat shrink them and put them all in the middle of each other. I don't need those. Um, down here where they come through, I gotta clean that up some. I wanna vacuum this out while my seat's out. Uh, no more soldering to do. Uh, yeah, I do actually. This ground's gotta come up through there and then down around in. <clears throat> then that leads us back to here. Cause that ground's gotta get back to here. Now back here, as you can see that, right there is in the way, right where the jack used to, well not the jack, where the spare tire would mount, mount. God, I can't even speak guys. Now, it kind of screws me in my access back there, but it should be, I should still have enough room to get in to the sides of it. It's pretty wide, so. Even when that's down. Well, probably won't be able to. I'll probably have to drill a freaking hole in it. Which is fine. But, anyway. Gonna get that out of there. Get that out. I'm gonna move this bottle out tomorrow. As you can see, the fuel cell is not back here anymore. <clears throat> Put the tailor in here. Oh, this was ran. So this will kind of come, like, right here. Power to it. Ground will go right there's that bolt where it used to go. Um I gotta clean up the wiring and everything. Gotta look at this. Okay, that's that's easy to get through. Um we gotta tuck that. We gotta tuck down through there. But I have it running. Well, just to show you guys, I'll um, zip tie it off in there. I jack this up, put it back up off the ground. It's probably fine. Oh, all these wires around my starter. Okay, where's it at? Oh, it's fine. It's perfectly fine, actually. Zip tie it right there, guys. Call it a day. Actually, I might not even zip tie that. What's it like? Is it like bouncing off anything? No, nothing. It's fine. 
I'm not even going to do nothing with it. I'm just going to let it hang. Sorry about that. I don't feel like getting in and out that out so you'll probably see that then we'll have that up over here put the in the there and we'll put these wires in that shrouding in a little while it's like midnight so obviously i'm not doing it tonight um let's see here okay yeah that'll go into there here's these wires we got the Two joiners that'll go together, bolt here. I'll just heat shrink and tape that up. And yeah, um, that's about all we got to do, really, guys. Uh, I'm gonna cut this bracket up. I'm just gonna cut it. Just made a decision. I'm just gonna cut the damn thing. Um, actually, I'll probably let it there. To be honest with you, to a later date. Wrap this pipe tomorrow. Hook vacuum lines up and oh yeah, we got all the grounds done out here. I'm gonna put a little solder on the top of that. Um Yeah, we mean we got everything done. It's pretty much done. I wanna jack it up like I said, I wanna do that drain and everything. Put new oil in it, new filter in it. So yeah, same thing looks good. Um, anybody was worrying how, wondering how the two hundred fives fit on the factory tire. That's with the lowering spring even quite well. So now we just gotta get the back done. We'll get the we gotta get the struts put on this yet. Forgot about that. That has to be done yet. Struts on this. So, there's a lot to do, guys. So, I just don't feel like firing it up until I get everything done. Because I want to only worry about tuning. I don't want to have to worry about, okay, now I got to clean wires up. Or, okay, it starts. Now I got to hook vacuum lines up. I already started it. Not on video, but with me and my brother did before we even put the turbo on there. So, everything started. So, I know it's good to go. Started it with the header on. And it was good to go, so... Now I just need to get a friend of mine. He's coming over tomorrow. I'm going to see if he won't clean this engine bay up a little bit for me while he's here. While he's here, he usually does that shit. I need to come out here and clean all this stuff off of it. We got to go get it worse. This is just ridiculously looking bad. But front bumper on it. Odds and ends. Vacuum lines mostly. The uh, longest thing I guess right now is going to be probably vacuum lines and um, battery location kit. Um, wrapping the pipe and all that. I don't know guys. It, it should be done Sunday. But I'm not going to set a date because who knows what else I'm sticking in this damn thing. 